what's good to youtube it's your boy keto i'm bringing you guys a twixter tutorial um i don't see a lot of people posting a lot of twixter time remap tutorials so i'm bringing you guys one because i know a lot of people struggle with twixter and y'all been asking for it so it's my first tutorial so i was like you know why not try something new um yeah this is just one of the methods that i use uh i feel like everybody should know it's pretty basic but again it could be hard if you don't know at the same time so yeah let's get right into it um so go ahead and get your clips that you want to twister so i got i already got my clips that i want to twister already so we're gonna start with this one so the first thing i do when i twister this is just what i do um, for this method particular method so yeah i pre-compose my stuff first uh, i'll check that box um, i usually name my stuff you don't have to if you don't want to i name it let me see what i oh, my name is zero zero two kiss so we're gonna do that um throw on pro twister uh I don't know. I like Pro Twixter because I said Pro. Why well, I'm saying Pro Twix, Twixter Pro? My fault. <laughs> because it has like a lot of options that you can use that normal Twixter doesn't have. So yeah, I usually put the input frame rate on seven. I put the image prep on uh, contrast, and I put the frame on motion weighted blend. Then I keyframe the speed. All right, so on my key, frame speed, I press U on my keyboard to, so we can see the key, um, the keyframes that we just placed down. Uh, I put the 100 value keyframe right, I put it back one. I make another keyframe and I set it at 20. Um, 20 is a good number for me, but you can always lower the number or increase the number. It just depends on how fast or slow you want it. And then I pre-compose again. All right, and then we control Alt, the shortcut for time remap. And if you don't know how to do that, uh, of course you can just go to time and then enable time remapping. Uh, go to where you want the twister to end at. I usually go back one keyframe because I, I kind of want it to go fast at the end. And that's also where I wanted to stop it. So we're gonna increase the number, right? Uh, I want it to be, yeah, we're gonna stop like right here. Uh, alt bracket, the chairman. Uh, highlight both the keyframes, F9. Uh, I'm gonna take the first leg, right? And we're gonna put it up. And then we're going to put the one on the far right and we're going to put it down. And let's see what we got on this first one so far. I'm going to adjust it a little bit. Um, let me see what I want. I'm gonna do three, three on four, y'all. Um, on the last one, I'm gonna do a different grab because there's different ways that you can do um, the grab for Twixter. So I forgot to mention as well. I like to have my clips like stretched out, right? So when we get on the time remap part, right, I can have space to time remap it, and it won't go black. So if y'all start going black, it's because you're not stretching it out long enough. You're not giving it enough time where you can stretch it out in time. If that makes any sense. Hopefully that makes sense. 
Uh, so we're going to pre-compose again. Same thing. We're going to name this hero Twix. I like to name myself because I like to be organized so I can know where everything get. Because when you have so many layers, bro, it can get so confusing and overwhelming. So same uh, settings. My chest. Motion weighted. Um, everything else, I just keep the same because, yeah. Find where they are now. You can adjust them if you have some warps, you can adjust them to see what works for you. Because sometimes I adjust my stuff because every clip not the same, of course. You gotta adjust the texture according to that particular clip. Uh, put the twister back on there, but same values as the first one. What I'm doing? Oh, my fault, y'all. My fault, my fault. <laughs> Disregard that. <laughs> uh, control Alt T. Time out. I'm probably just cut that out. Maybe. Let's see. Uh, okay. Go start it. My stuff slow, so better. Um, that's where we want to end it again. It kind of wore it right there, so I'm going to put it right there. Highlight both of the keyframes again. Mm -hmm. I think I'm for this one. I'm going to go like, because I know it's probably going to work in the beginning. So I'm probably going to do it like that ish. I see how they look. stuff at the end since we got like a couple beats and stuff so I'll probably like add some players or whatever um, okay so let's go to the last clip all right um, the last clip same thing as before So it won't be black at the start of it. Want it to end right here. All right. I'll break it. Uh, highlight your keyframe so you can easy use them. F9 and. This uh, another way that you can do the graph. You can take that left leg, right, pull it up, and I like to take the far right one, the far right leg right here. I like to press shift and drag it across, and then let go of shift and I drag it down slightly, about right there. So you can get something like this. Let's see what it look like. some basic blurs nothing too fancy if you follow all those steps you should get something like this there you go yeah, you should know how to or the concept on how to twix there uh, another tip I would probably tell y'all um, 
make sure to be mindful of what you're trying to twix because you you can't twix everything unless you know how to do the masking <laughs> method i don't I, myself i don't even know how to do that if you know that hit me up hit me up <laughs> i need to know that i need that in my life but uh only i would say only twix stuff that you know how to twix don't be trying to twix um if they moving across the screen like hella fast or you know one fr one keyframe they head on a far right and then next keyframe on a far left no it has to be moving in the same direction like basically like almost moving in the same direction or it, it have like similar movements in it so it could be easy to twix you see how my clips is like moving in a similar direction or the same direction rather and it's not like the clips not like all over the place where it's like on twix not twix but warp a lot so you know try to twix things that you think won't warp a lot and um as always you can use little things to hide it the warps and stuff like you know blurs and flickers and things like that it just depends on the song that you're using and stuff try to do some of the little smaller notes and stuff like that um but try not to have big warps but if it's like you know some little like this like i know nobody really not gonna notice that to be honest bro like let's be let's be honest <laughs> um plus you can always put rs on there and yeah, that stuff hide that type of stuff anyway so but this is um this is pretty good for um one of my first twix that uh, one of, for one of my first twix that met this oh my goodness <laughs> yo y'all it is literally five in the morning so don't come at me i just got off work so i was just like you know what i'll make it to i'm gonna make it to tours these people be asking me so, you know or not i'm dragging the video on now so make sure to like comment and subscribe let me know what you guys think what tutorials should I do next? Because I might do some more. I don't know. Depends on the feed. But. And, uh. Yeah. I'm out. Yeah, sure.